hi so the other viewers have asked questions about how they can do their order from Alibaba and how we're gonna take their cargoes from China to Papua New Guinea so today we're gonna talk about that I will give you a brief rundown on the process of the whole thing so first of all when you go and purchase on Alibaba or if you have not installed Alibaba in your phone then you will have to go to Play Store install Alibaba into your phone okay why Alibaba? Alibaba has all the suppliers and the manufacturer the companies that manufactures um, the items they're all listed on Alibaba and they all sell it in bulk purchases okay so you would have to purchase your item from them once you make a purchase from them the manufacturer will also ask you if you have a freight forwarder okay so that is where I come in where my company um, Asia Pacific Trading Services we fill in that gap of bridging the clients and the supplier by taking your cargoes from China or from your supplier to your destination so what you're gonna do is you're gonna tell your supplier to take your cargoes to my warehouse the office which you can always ask me for the address once you make a purchase on Alibaba and I will give you the address okay once your cargo reaches my team in China office then you will receive a reference number for your cargo as well and also if you're ordering from five different suppliers don't worry about that all your suppliers can take your cargoes to our office and then our team will repack all of your items into one so you can get one or two boxes okay your freight charge is gonna be charged on the volume of those items that has been repacked into a box meaning we will calculate the measurement of how much space your cargo covers the pallet and then our team will send you an invoice okay the great thing also about the invoice that you'll be receiving is that the invoice will cover your customs clearance your wharfage handling fee your nakia fees all of those other fees that people pay and that you don't want to be running here and there paying from one agent to another agent i know it's a hassle so we're trying to make it easier for you and we're going to give you one invoice only and when you make a payment to that one invoice only that means you are good to go okay you're just gonna wait for your cargo to arrive here in Port Moresby if you're here and you pick it up at our office which is at Waigani if you are out of Port Moresby in other provinces don't worry about that the cargo will come to Port Moresby we will clear it and then we will put it on another shipment to other provinces that you are in okay so let's rephrase the uh, volume the freight charges is on volume and not by weight okay um, the normal standard rate for other shipping line is between 440 to 550 us dollars per cubic meters on for cargoes on the pallet however with us we are making it easier for you which is lowered down to between 185 to 220 us dollars per cubic meters okay so that's for cargoes and that's a genuine genuine rate that we're giving for local businesses and SMB startups to do business with us in this service because we're trying to take back PNG here and you do service with us and we support a local business and uh, help each other move forward okay um, also we are not Chinese people okay I get comments from Facebook that they think that we are Chinese people no we're not Chinese but we do have a partner in China that uh, looks after our office in China but here in PNG no we're all Papua New Guineans here running the business so when you do business with us you are doing business with another Papua New Guinean and not a Chinese okay 
so that's that for today if you have any other questions and uh, any other comments on how you are going to receive your cargoes from our office and other little details that you need please leave it in a comment that you are interested with your email address or i can send you the email address of our company and you can send us an inquiry okay well it is going towards christmas and if you're also looking for ways to make money then if you have some investments you can start a small business for yourself this christmas by buying in bulk and reselling probably to your house line or community back in the village and make some money this christmas so by next year of 2023 you got some money and you can buy anything you want or go and travel all right that's it for today and we'll see you in the next video bye